These are 1,000 litre tubs or IBCs. Probably seen them on the internet, used for a lot of things. If not, take the time and go and research it because these things are vastly popular for so many things. Um, mainly for water catchment, water holding, um, and just um, a lot of people get rid of the plastic tub inside and use it for firewood. I have a bit of a different idea for this. This one here is going to get turned upside down and stacked on top of this one. I'm going to tie the two of them together and cut out the top and a bit out of that. And the same here. And then they're going to be joined together weld the plastic together or seal the plastic together, put a door on it and turn it into an outdoor shower. I hope it works, <laughs> but it looks like it does from what I've seen. So I'm going to have a go at it. Um, I'm fairly confident in what I'm doing, but uh, we will see. Um, I've seen the best way to cut this stuff is with a, um, with a cut off metal disc. Um, cutting the plastic that is um, and also the metal um, so I try and keep things intact so that I can use the, what metal I cut out for the door um, and so then it looks pretty cool um, but yeah the whole idea is so that we've got a shower that we can use while I do the remodel so that whole bathroom needs to be completely shelled um, and then I've got to take the time to recess the, sh the shower tray and reconfigure everything in there. There's at least a week's work in it. So that's going to, yeah, it's going to take that amount of time, if not more, um, because I just know how construction works. Getting the sparky, getting the plumber in there, and me doing all my bits and pieces. And I don't really like to rush things, um, because otherwise you don't get a, as good a quality finish. So, this is going to be our temporary shower. You know, it could be up to two, three weeks, and we don't want to be out without a shower. So, this cost me like 120 bucks each for one of these. Um, and I've got a mixer, and I've got a shower head. And if you see here, they've already got drains in them. So, that can be hooked straight up to a waste pipe, which is outside my house. Um, so, I can just run a waste straight into it. I can take this off and I can run my thing in there, not a problem. Um, these are, um, these were food um, holding containers, so you don't have to worry about um, allergens or, or pesticides or chemicals in these ones, um, but they're not for drinkable water because they're clear, the black ones are, because if you put water in these clear ones, um, don't know the scientific term but it changes it and and, and it doesn't become very healthy to drink so you can't drink water from these clear ones but the black ones you can but these are still um, food you see here so the FDA approved merit materials for food contact okay so we'll cut them open clean them out stitch them together make a shower out of it and then once it's done and once I've got my new shower in in the bathroom and we're using that, this then becomes an outdoor shower um, for like washing off the dog um, and just just general outdoor shower. I think it'll be really, really uh, useful. Um, and then I can always sell it if I don't want it anymore. All right, let's get to it. Oh, 
Right, that was fun. It's all cleaned out now. We'll chuck this on top, have a bit of a look at it, and uh, start to formulate a plan. That might be all for today. But uh, yeah, good little mission. We will see what happens. Okay. Oh, holy shit, that actually works. Excuse my French, but I, I saw the method. I hoped it was going to work. I saw it back here. I saw it how it was the idea of it. But to actually see that it is self supporting, I'm stoked. Uh, slight disappointment there. That would be one let down is that I didn't have that in the same position as that. So, but. In all honesty, I'll probably have that. That's obviously my waist. I'm going to have a, um, a raised bed in here that we can stand on. And that, my shower head's going to go there. My tower and my thing go there. I'm actually really stoked with how that's turned out. So, see that? It has dropped down. But it sits really, really well. So, obviously, that there. So I always knew that that was going to be a little bit of an issue, but all we have to do is just get a piece of plastic, run it over here, put some rivets in it, seal it up, done. Um, and what I'm going to do is I've got this pipe here, got this pipe, um, we're going to use it as a trial, you know, slit it, and that's going to run over that, around, it's going to go over all my joins and things, um, see how it works. Uh, it might not work, but um, I'm fairly sure it will. But yeah, so it uh, actually looks like it's going to work. And obviously, you can see the problem that I can see is that once you've done it, Gary, how are you going to get it out? Well, fairly simple. Um, I just put a um, big ass trolley on it, tip it over, take it to where I need to, and um, yeah. Get it out, out of the door. It'll it'll have to be built solid enough that it can be tipped over. But everything I build is solid anyway. We all know this. All right, sweet guys. If you like that, um, check out the rest of my vids. There's heaps online, and we're getting better and better by the day. Uh, I hit 200 subscribers the other day, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah. Let me know what you reckon about this, any improvements that you can think of, because um, obviously when you're not in the amongst of it, you can see more than the guy that's uh, trying to do it. So yeah, let me know. Um, obviously I'm going to go around and put some clips in here to um, tie it all together. But yeah, sweet guys, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, do all that social media stuff. You guys rock, see you later.